We've been on tour for some time now, and I always look forward to fire, explosions. Just look forward to new shows, you know, Dif different places, different things happening, you know, and, and uh, every tour is totally different. Every day is actually kind of different, you know, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, I, just like, I like the energy of playing live, playing, seeing people in front of me freaking out, and then me freaking out with them. <laughs> What is it? We get facelifts and push-ups and prayers. Push-ups and prayers and vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. <laughs> it always takes us a couple of days to sort of, uh, so our cardio gets up a little bit because of the way we tend to get a little bit out of shape right at home. So, I don't know. A little bit of beer, a little ginseng, a little song, a little dance. It'll be raring to go. I have a habit trail at home that I work out on. <laughs> The first concert I ever saw was Sammy Davis Jr. And he was wearing a patch on his eye and I fell asleep, probably due to all the pot smoke that was floating around. And I was with my dad. Uh, my first uh, concert was uh, Van Halen in 1984 with David Lee Roth. Um, and I was wickedly entertained. It was a stellar performance. <laughs> my first concert was uh... Mr. T experienced and Sweet Baby and Victim's Family and No Means No in the Lookouts. And it was in a pizza parlor and I was in the first band. So. And we sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I know my Queen records got me beat up in high school a lot. <laughs> and uh, David Bowie. Probably uh, Who's Could Do, Warehouse Songs and Stories. You know, first thing that comes mm -hmm. to mind for me. Actually, that's a stupid question. I didn't make it through high school. Yeah. <laughs> that's what made me quit high school, actually. Uh, you know, I, I probably just uh, a, lot of, a lot more college radio and stuff like that. I, I, I bought my first uh, little kind of stereo system setup thing when I was like 17 and a half. You know, so, demo we, were, tapes. we were in bands when we were in high school. It was our own band that got us through yeah, high school. Right, I mean, really I mean Green Day has been around since more Green we were... Day in high, in high school than any other band, yeah. probably. I mean, we, you know, the day after... Graduation was our first show of our summer tour, you know, and then it's been endless ever since. Yeah. And then we were through with high school. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's what we were in bands, you know, the whole time. And I don't think it was any particular, uh, someone else's band. It was my own band that got me through high school. You know, it's kind of getting me through life in general. Uh, 418. Uh, you don't go through that many. Oh. <laughs> One. He doesn't know. One. I don't count them. I think you gotta You'd have to ask Kenny you Butler. Play on, you play on burn drum. I mean, you've got, yeah, you play on burn We try and drum fix them. If, if we can fix them, we fix them. Yeah. We've got yeah. a pretty amazing... Uh, I think on average, a, a kid will last at least a week if he's burning it every night. It's pretty funny. The mic stands through the shells, though. That yeah, kinda, that never helps. Doesn't sound that great. No, no not, not really. Most of those drums end up going to pretty cool auctions and things like that for charities or what have you, you know, or to some some young kid who can actually still play it, you know. Or I made a kid wear good. at at the Warp Tour. I made him wear a busted ass burnt drum around like I made straps for him, and had to he had to wear it around the rest of the day, and he could keep it. So I mean, they don't go to waste. Uh, they probably eat a bit more cheese. Yes, this is true. Um, yeah, you know, people and people in Europe tend to be a little more political, you know, which is which is fine. Uh, um, which is awesome. You know, on um, one hand, that's that's totally great. You know, on the other side of me says that politics are boring, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, I don't know. They're they're the same everywhere. They they're there for the same reason. I think we're all one global rock and roll unit. <laughs> uh, festivals are a lot more popular out there than they are. I mean, like, there's like the the traveling Oz Fest that we 
that America has. You know, we're out there, they have, you know, it's a lot more variety, lots of different bands and people come with not only a, like just a party and, ha you know, to, to see bands play, but also to kind of go on vacation and camp a little bit. Bigger than the bands that are playing in, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, uh, it seems like a lot of different countries have their own festivals, such as the Reading Festival or what is it, uh, Punka Pop or something like that? It, just Swedish festivals, uh, you know, um, ones from Switzerland, Italian festivals, all over the place. So. Uh, Italy, they they know how to dance. They know how to get their groove on. Lots of vomit in the the stands after we come through town. Yeah. The the Brazilians get it on pretty well Brazilian, too. Yeah, Brazil definitely. Yeah, that's that's true. They're like and the kids in Japan have a ton of energy. They're awesome. I'm having such a great time, bro. Let's become blood brothers right now, man. Yeah. There's a lot of bands that, you know, that will tour, go out to Kick Europe and people won't, won't, will have no clue who they are, you know, uh, specifically American bands, that, you know. Yeah. Um, and then they're, you know, and so it's, uh, and a lot of those bands get frustrated and all they'll do is just tour around here. And I don't know, we try to, we try to keep global as much as we possibly can and just keep playing everywhere. I mean, for us, it's, you know, not only playing music, but it's education and it's, you know, uh, get a chance to travel and see, you know, all aspects from here in Asbury Park to uh, yeah, Prague. This is, is going to be our life. We might as well make it interesting, you know. I don't know. Check out my butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's, uh, you, know, we're you know, I think we talk to ourselves more than we talk to anyone else. Um, you know, I mean, as far as musically and stuff like that, it's... Oh, we're not trying to throw any particular message at people, yeah. you know. We do uh, bring bring things, bring people out, you know, like Greenpeace and the ARA, uh, Anti-Racist Action is out with us. And that is just, you know, it's we don't want to, I think it's cool to mix politics and music just because, um, you know, we're not doing it in a way where someone is sitting down in the classroom and we're trying to force feed someone to learn something. But it's an option, yeah. and if it's there and it's information, if they feel like getting involved with it, it's cool, you know. and. Um, Question everything, you know, some awareness never hurt anybody. <laughs> well, I don't know how, how long forever is, but I mean, I don't know. We just try to stay in the present. I don't want to think about, you know, take it song by song. Uh, uh, I don't, you know, you know, a lot of bands sort of say they're going to be around forever. And I don't know. I don't want to say that, but I, uh, you know, we're yeah, here right know. now. Oh. And that's sort of philosophy we've always had is just deal with the here and now. And, you know, you know I, I do think a lot of people get caught up in, in the, you know, the aspect of this is our band, our, our band, our band, our band. And, you know, this is it's more than our band. It's, you know, it's, it is our lives, you know. And whether that reflects, you know, our life or our life reflects the band, either way, it doesn't matter. You just got to realize it.